But yeah, so that's another thing that, you know, if I end up spawning, I usually try and try and have a go of it as close to my spawn. Oh, chicken! Oh, ho, ho, ho. now just to find them. Get closer. There's a chicken. All right. Oh, it looks like one died in there. Arr, no, we don't want that. Here. There's one chicken. Well, at least I can do is benefit from your death by picking... Oh, there's two. There's two here. Yes. Okay, so... What do I want to do here? I want to get rid of... Just want to get rid of some crap. Okay, two is all I need. It would be nice to have more, though. Because things could happen. In particular, uh, on the way down in some of the forests that I passed through, there were wolves, and wolves will come and steal your chickens from you. So, I think what we'll do is continue to walk through the uh, jungle for a bit. Is there another one back here? Oh no, it's just the stuff I threw away. <laughs> well, that was pretty fast. Normally I have to hunt a lot more than that to find chickens. Just gotta make sure I don't move so fast that I lose these guys. Now let's go back out to the water. Alright, so at this point things are gonna get even slower than they were before because the chickens move more slowly than I do, and if I get too far ahead of them, they'll lose interest in the wheat. So, so I'll bring you back in once I have a better idea of what I'm going to do here. Wait a minute, there's another chicken. It's a rooster. Oh, two more chickens. Okay, four chickens. Yeah. I'm willing to gamble on four chickens. Even though these ones seem to want to bury themselves in uh, dirt. Alright, can you guys get up here or not? And I have one, two, three, four! Yes! Alright. Now we're talking. So, can I get back out to the coast? I think I picked up another rooster. Oh, I'm up to five now. All right. <laughs> yeah, I just want to be back out to the coast by the time the sunset comes. When I hop in the bed, these guys are going to want to wander off. And they won't be able to get too far. But in the jungle, even a short distance can be pretty annoying. Just about bedtime. So I'm just going to keep them here. And then what will happen is I get to swim home. Yes, swim, not use a boat. And there's two reasons for that. One is uh, that when I swim, I, uh, I move at about the same pace as these guys. And so there's no point really being in a boat. It's just that much easier to outpace them. And the other one is that uh, there are fewer of the 
yeah, I, you don't get the, dis, the dislocation problem, the sync problem between the server and the client if you're just swimming like you do with a boat. So I'm going to wait around here until it's night and then lay down my bed, go to sleep, and then in the morning I can eat and then I'll have to uh, go and gather them up again because they'll have wandered off by the time I'm finished eating. the moon which I think means yeah I can hop into bed now okay quickly as possible let's fill up on bread don't need to worry about water since I'm gonna be swimming uh, let's throw oh might as well throw the and I have regained, yes, I regained their attention, which is good. There we go. All right, so this is going to be a long, a long, long, boring way home. And I'm not going to subject you to it. When I get back on land, I might bring you in for bits and pieces, particularly if there are wolves about. But uh, I won't uh, make you sit here and watch me swim. Like, this is about the pace I'm going to have to do, right? all the way home all 11,000 blocks so yeah lots of fun see you then oh man I am so tired of looking at these chickens I'm just a few meters away from home now but for last well not the last because I did half of it last night but it's been, I've been spending, spent four and a half hours, actually closer to five hours, leading these chickens home. Oh, God. Now, in theory, travel across land is faster because chickens walk faster than they swim. But in practice, they fall down holes and they have trouble getting up uh, getting up inclines. They sometimes pick a different route from the one that you chose and they head off, end up in a different direction. They lose sight of the the wheat here and then they lose interest and so then you gotta go hunt them down. And also on land evenings I have to throw down a bed which means taking the weed out of my hand so they lose interest and they immediately start running off in all directions. They are so quick to just take off in any old direction. Good lord. Anyway. The good news is, is so I did manage to spend... Oh, did I really not create a pen for them? Did I really not create a pen for them? Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, that was so silly of me. All right. What? Why did the... Oh, who cares? Let's just bring in the house for the moment. And we will need to quickly switch to a block. otherwise I know they're gonna to want to fall down the mine okay <sighs> um, <laughs> yeah so I started I, I can't remember whether I showed you guys or not but I had started out with five of these guys oh shit no 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 they can get out up here too no 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 Am I already down to just... how many am I down to? 
What, am I already down to just two? Where are they all going to? Well, the other two are going to be around here somewhere. There's one of them. Where did the other rooster get to? See what I mean? They just as soon as as soon as you don't have the wheat there to attract them, they just go skittering off in any direction, but anyway. So I'm gonna have to make a, a pen for them. Oh, well, maybe the other rooster will show up, or maybe it's long gone. Doesn't matter. But I'll have to make a pen for them, and, uh... But I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Ah, oh, let's just sleep now. Yeah, so... So what, did, what was I trying to say earlier? Um... Yeah, so I started off with five of them. I think I had... I, I think I had three roosters and two chickens. And, uh, and it was when I was crossing the first section of land, which took forever because it was mountainous, that I lost one of them. It, was, it didn't die or anything, I just was trying to climb up a fairly steep incline, and there was no way all five of them could get up it at the same time. So the one at the bottom always lost interest, and I'd go back for them, the others would follow, and then I'd lose another one. So I eventually just gave up. I managed to get all four of them back this far, except for now there's the one rooster gone, but that's okay. Um, and the interesting thing was I didn't run into any wolves, which was a big concern of mine. I had to fight off, I think, five zombies that came at me from an overhang during the daylight. Fortunately, they were burning while I fought them, but I had to fight them off while holding the wheat in my hand, so I was just beating them with, a, with wheat green. <laughs> I defended the chicken's honor and, and the integrity of their lives with the with the grain that they so love. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm pretty sure that that's, that's got to be a full session one way or another, so I'm going to uh, call it an episode here, and the next episode we'll maybe put together a pen for them and get them inside and start breeding them. And the breeding is going to be interesting in its own right because it's sort of a special kind of thing. So, thank you for watching. Um, I'm glad you didn't have to sit through the four and a half hours of getting chickens back. Just unfortunate that I had to. I'll see you later. Bye. No, you're not going to get rid of me quite that easily, I'm afraid. Uh, in case it wasn't obvious, I am from episode 10, I had way too much footage. Even after some fairly brutal editing, I still had too much footage for a single episode. So, instead, I gave that slight cliffhanger ending to episode 10 and put the uh, rest of the footage that at the start of this episode which is why I did the goodbye in the middle because I thought I was ending episode 10 turns out we're in the middle of episode 11 now so we got a bunch of things to do um, since I've been on two trips collecting stuff and I haven't been doing very much with what I collected it's time to do something with all that stuff and the first item on the agenda is to get these chickens into a pen because they are driving me crazy. These these are the most suicidal animals I have ever seen. So I was built a, uh, like I did a bunch of stuff in between uh, cuts. So, so in between the footage you just watched and this new set of footage here. Um, so among that I, I made up some molds so we have something to use with the uh, bronze. And so I started a, a kiln fire in here, and so immediately a rooster runs into it and tries to kill himself. So got him out of that. Um, and then what happened here? Oh, another one tried to somehow sink down into the uh, uh, coal, charcoal rather, in the forge and tried to kill himself or herself. It was a hen there that way. Um, then I was, I was uh, chiseling a wooden block for, for something I'll show you later. And two, a rooster and a hen both ran in front of the chisel out. I mean, these guys just want to die, man. Anyway, so I want to get them out of my house. All right, so first things first. Uh, do I have, yeah, I have the fencing and the gate with me. Good. So 
Now, I'm kind of of two minds about these pens because I've noticed this before, not just in playing TSC, but even in playing vanilla, that the animals tend to glitch through the fences. So what actually works a whole lot better than using the fences is to just dig a pit too deep and put the animals in there. And then even if they glitch into the dirt, they either smother, which actually doesn't happen that often, or they eventually glitch back into where they're supposed to be. Whereas here, they glitch outside the pen, then they go one around. The other thing that happens is they, you'll see this with the chickens later. In fact, you may even see it at the house is they can tend to get stuck in corners that have post or sorry that have uh, blocks that have some transparency like these posts here fence posts they can just get stuck there oh crap it's uh, too late anyway so it would be smarter for me and it would work a lot better if i just dug a hole but and that's what i do in my own worlds but it looks nicer having the farm with the fencing and the animals above ground so that's what i'm going to do instead but first things for well, actually, we can probably have time to lay down a bit of fence in here. Oh, oh, how big a place do we want here? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. There we go. Okay. And to make life easier for me, I'm going to build a loading dock at the back. And let's sleep the night away. S sleeping the night away. I don't even know if there's a song that has those lyrics. I think this one is pissing the night away. At least that's how I always hear lyrics. Ooh, me thirsty. He got a drink. Oh, Rooster does too. Alright, well, let's have some food while we're at it. Okay. Now, see this guy staying in the corner, or the hen in the corner? There's a chance she won't come now when I put out the, uh, she may be stuck in there. Yes. Oh, oh, looks like she might, she's coming. Yes, good. Uh, for a minute there, I thought she was stuck. All right. And then the, when that, when they do get stuck, they, they, the only way to free them is to break the block that they're stuck in. And then they suddenly able to pathfind again. I think that's what happens is just their pathfinding algorithms get confused. Come on. Speaking of confused, there we go. Alright, can we get these four chickens? These four blasted, clucking little... <laughs> can we get them all into the pen? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. One, two, three. Yes! We did it! Okay. Alright. Now, now the next thing, um, so breeding these guys is kind of interesting because TFC has not yet implemented breeding of chickens. So, you know, you see we have the male rooster and the female hens, but they can't be bred together um, because it hasn't been implemented yet because the developers want to have it be semi-realistic in the sense that, you know, the hens have to brood on the nest and hatch their eggs and stuff like that, and that's a lot of coding which no one has wanted to get to yet. However, they did not disable vanilla breeding. So in vanilla breeding, you just feed uh, seeds to two chickens. They, the gender doesn't matter, or the sex doesn't matter, and they can breed. So that's great, except you need vanilla seeds. And like, this is the sort of seeds that TFC gives us when we break grass or harvest uh, crops. And those are not vanilla seeds, we can't, they can't be fed. You know, I can try, you know, feeding these to, uh, see, and all it does just tells me it's not working, just telling me what their sex is. So how do we go about getting some vanilla seeds? Well, that's where the pumpkins come in. Pumpkins are completely uh, unmodified in TFC. They haven't done anything with them. So they're still vanilla pumpkins, which means they give vanilla pumpkin seeds, which can be used to breed. And actually, and the other neat thing is you don't even need to be, they don't need to be different sexes. Because since it's vanilla breeding, there is no sexes, but I still like to breed. You know, I'm just, I'm so conventional, I just like to breed the males and the females. But anyway, there we go. We have our first two chicks. <sighs> Finally. And while we're at it, we should probably breed our uh, our pigs and our goats. 
or sheep, not goats. Uh, so I think pigs are wheat, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even check to see who's a sow. Oh, well. It's bound to be a... I got a male and three females. Hmm. Oh, there's a male there, so... There we go. So, what do I have here? She's not pregnant. Oh! It's too slow. Too slow, too slow. Well, let's not use, let's just empty out a hand then. So what have we got here? A female, a male, a pregnant female. So we have one pregnant female. Female, male, male, female. Okay, so we have a female and a male. What's the problem, guys? Get together. Here. Male, female, female. Maybe she's still too young? Alright, let's come in here. Could be that it's still that the female is still too young. There's another female. There's a male. And there's a male, so let's try this. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm guessing that they're just still too, that the other females are just still too young. <laughs> probably just accident the one I just accidentally killed is probably the only other mature female. But anyway, we got at least one of them pregnant. Now these guys were oats, right? I think they were oats. Let's go get them some oats. Okay. Okay. So you are a female, you are not yet pregnant. There we go. No, no, you're pregnant. Oh, from that distance. Oh, good God. Man, you are, you're, you're a powerful stud. You can, you can impregnate the ladies from the other side of the pen. All right. Okay. So we got them going. We got all of our animals bred up. Obviously I have some uh, work to do in the farm here, but I'll do that off camera. But a few things we do want to do. Oh, before we get to all this other stuff, there's something else I wanted to show you. Um... Um, when I was showing you how to chisel things, like, you know, I chiseled this stuff out of wood, and then I think when I did the demo, I was chiseling blocks back over there by the, uh, by the historic home. Um, there was some stuff I forgot to show you, and so we'll show that to you now. So, we'll get to put our lily pads to use now. There we go. Uh, might as well throw this meat away. Oh, speaking of throwing things away, um, I went and uh, hunted a squid and got an ink sack from him. Actually, three ink sacks, and which is normal, same as in vanilla. But what TFC also does is you can also get raw calamari when you hunt squid, and you can eat it raw. But if you cook it up on a stove or, or sorry, in a campfire or in a forge, then you can eat it. So that's a nice, quick, and handy source of food, especially if you if you spawn out in a deserted island in the middle of the ocean. However, for me, it's no good because we're doing vegetarian here. So anyway, we need some of this stuff to make paper for the next thing I want to show you. That should do for now. Yeah, I'll grab this because we're here. All right. Finally, my home is my own again. Alrighty. Paper. Okay. Now, in TFC, if you take an ink sack and you put it into your crafting space, you get 18 markings. So basically, 18 ink marks. <clears throat> and they get used for a couple of things. For the thing I want to share right now is if you put one piece of paper and one ink mark together, you get a blueprint. And right now, it's a blank blueprint. There's nothing on it. Okay. So, now over here, I have a wooden block that uh, off-camera I sculpted into this figure eight. A little hard to see with the chest behind it. But, um, so if I, I think I just right-click. There I go. Yeah, I right-click the blueprint on the carved block and it allows me to enter 
a name, so we'll just call it eight. Okay, so now I have this blueprint of an eight, and it the blueprint contains the entire structure for this chiseled block. So now let's go outside, and show you how to use it. So let's say I don't want this number seven here anymore, so I get rid of the block. And throw down a new block. Okay, so I have to have a chisel on my hot bar. I think the hammer just has to be in my inventory. We'll find out. Um, I go into detail mode. So remember these chisel modes on the right? There's, yeah, let's go back on. That's a slab mode, I think. Stair mode. Uh, what was the first one? Oh, sorry, that's, that's smooth. Smoothing mode where you cut out smooth blocks. Make stairs. Cut slabs off the sides. And then this detailed mode, which is where you get the 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight grid that you can chisel out. So you go into detail mode, you right click once. I ah, know you do have to have the hammer in your hotbar, okay. You right click once, now it's in detail mode. Now you switch to the blueprint and you right click again and whammo! The blueprint gets applied to the block. So if you need to make a bunch of, if you're chiseling a bunch of blocks to look the same way, you know, it's like you're doing you know, a bunch of roof tiles or a bunch of seats or something like that. You only need to make up one and then you can make blueprints off of that one. Now, uh, when you make a blueprint, I only had one blueprint in the stack that I clicked on, but if I had eight blueprints in the stack, they, I could have clicked once on that, on that first block back there and they all would have become, you know, just the one click would have done the entire stack. So, so now that's done as well. So there we go. And those ink marks will come in handy later on when we're doing armor as well. But we won't get into that just yet. Okay, what's next for us? Next for us is sleep again. Only sleep at night. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. Okay. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Where's my food? Give me food. I eat far more healthily in the TFC than I do in real life. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what's next? Oh, yeah, we picked up a couple of fruit trees. Oh, and the other thing we picked up on our previous expedition are these willows. I guess we're done with those for now. I have some raw hides, so I should get those started. Oh, that's probably from the pigs I accidentally killed. Sorry, guys. All right. So first, fruit trees. Where would we like to have an orchard? Um, I may need space. If I decide to go get cows, I'm going to need space for one more pen. So I think an orchard up here would be nice. Yeah, I think it's a nice place for an orchard, so we'll do that. Right now all we have is red apple. And olive. I've actually never seen an olive tree. I've seen it bloom, but I've never seen one bear fruit in a game. So I don't know if it's temperature or latitude dependent. Possibly biome dependent, I guess, but more likely to be temperature. But Or whether I've just been unlucky and just haven't been around at, at harvest time, but I've never seen one. Red apple I have, though. I think pretty much all the other fruit trees I have. So that's them. Oh, willows. We want to get our willow farm going too. So we have a nice handy dandy source of, uh, of sticks and uh, wood. Uh, that's a little bit too close to our... Okay. Put them there. One, two, three. Oh, you're a long way from home. One. Three and one, two, and three. And you guys are going to get in the way, so let's say goodbye. Why is this copper axe so slow? It feels slower than usual. Hmm. I've been playing vanilla the last couple of days. I've probably gotten used to my iron axe. Uh, well, <coughs> it's about 
time for us to move up to bronze anyway. Oh, what am I doing? Jesus, I'm chopping... See, there it is. As I've been playing vanilla, so I'm chopping these down in bits and pieces instead of... <laughs> Chopping them down from the root like they're supposed to do in TFC. Oh, man. So is this a suicidal pig? Is it going to run in front of my axe? Okay. The pig lives. Ah, oh, there's a few more I should chop down, but I'll do that off camera. Okay. What else? Oh, we have the rye and the maize that... We picked up. So first we take the rye and we use our knife to strip the grain from it. And then we want eight of those, eh? Take eight of those and convert them to seed. And this corn seed, or maize seed, here, um, it's legal. I get to keep it because I didn't pick it up from hitting grass. Um, I actually picked it up when I uh, was collecting uh, the maize crops that I found out in the wild. And one of them was immature, so it just gave me seeds instead of giving me uh, giving me full maize. So over here, oh, I guess I should grab my maho. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Yeah, I should get three of them, then I can be Santa Claus. All right. Oh, no. I'm not going to put the sword away. And this has got lots of red. Let's go into nutrient mode. Oh, yeah, plenty of red. So this is going to become our rye patch. And I got some signs here, yep. Rye. And I think this should have lots of red as well. Yep, okay. That can be our maze. Okay, and that's the maze. And I got some onions I harvest. Uh, well, like I said, I have to. There's a bunch of work I have to do here to get this uh, in shape. Ooh, okay. Is there anything else? I think that's it. I think the last thing left over. Oh, I can finally get rid of all this stuff. I was using this to keep the chickens from escaping while they were in here. And uh, here. I can't remember if I have bronze. If, ah, I have one, one liquid bronze here. Good. Okay. So in the previous episode? No, the episode before. The bronze one. Oh, I can't remember what episode. You think I, I can keep track of all this stuff? Anyways, in some previous episode, I finally made up our first batch of bronze, but then didn't have any molds to pour it into. Well, I have rectified that problem. So what's it to be? Um, picks. We use a lot of picks. Or we certainly, we're going to be using a whole lot more. So let's make our first bronze tool. A bronze pick. Okay. Pop that tool head out of the mold. Give it a handle, and there we go. Here, let's put it up on the wall beside the copper pick. Isn't that pretty? Uh, yeah. I know, I still got a copper pick I gotta work my way through, but he's already a partial, so it won't be too long. And we got a lot of mining to do. Um, that Cassiterite I found on one of the expeditions, <laughs> one of the recent expeditions, I want to go mine some of that and make up some real bronze, like some regular bronze, because it's stronger than the bismuth bronze. And I need to go, for, well, if we have, let's just have a look at the ore here. So I've got a fair bit of bismuth, bism bismuthonite now. Um, lots of copper still, tetrahedrite. Uh, but I still need some sphalerite to make more bismuth bronze because I, I mentioned before I want to make armor out of uh, bismuth bronze because it's prettier. And we now have everything we need to create art to start creating armor. But uh, we'll do that next episode. 
and uh, we'll st I'll start showing you how to work, create anvils and uh, scribing tables and all that good stuff. Anyway, so thanks for sticking with me through this one. It was a kind of a messy odds and ends, but uh, the nice part is we got a lot of different things done. So that's pretty cool, I think. So I hope to see you back for, well, this was episode 11, so episode 12. Bye now.